It's a um, good Friday right now and I am looking for a cat. As you can see there are very few vehicles. So it almost looks like a ghost town right now. This is Makai by the way. It's usually jam-packed with a lot of vehicles, everything. Bus, buses, school buses, cabs, even um, jeepneys, private vehicles. There are a lot of condos here. There's school as well. So this is what usually happens during the Holy Week. And today is Good Friday. Now I'm about to get inside Intramuros and we will start with the first church which is Manila Cathedral. You will see a lot of people getting inside and there are vehicles that won't be able to get inside now so people are starting to just walk there. There it is. Yeah, people starting to walk. And that is Manila Cathedral. They just renovated it. So there's something special going on right now and it's um, being done by Cardinal Gaudin Rosales. It started at 3 p.m. We'll see if we can still catch a few of what's happening there. So take a look. Cathedral is one of the historical churches here in the Philippines. That is why a lot of Filipinos would really make the effort, exert the effort to come here during the Lenten season. Okay, so the mess is done and it's time to start the Visita English. This is right outside San Agustin. Oh, sorry, this is right outside Manila Cathedral. I need 
don't take a car, you walk. This is what the Visita Iglesia is all about. That's the same. This is going to San Agustin. Of course, this is what you would usually see. Yeah. Everything from food to what you wear to pillowcases. It's all here. Okay, next stop is San Agustin. This is San Agustin, also in Intramuros, just a few steps away from the Manila Cathedral. Same thing, the same scene. Okay, so I just got back from Intramuros. I had to go visit a, a friend's house, my best friend's house. So, but she's not there anymore, but I had to visit them. And uh, so we got to chat. Well, um, we tried it for a long time and then I had to eat or have dinner there. So I'm here, I'm back on track and I'm going to go to my next church which is Malate Church. And I am going to take a jeep. So that's part of it. You can't just be you know, taking a, a cab because I don't have a car. So you can't just be doing that. So okay, here goes. So it just took me around 10 to 15 minutes to, to get here. I took the Mabini route. It just says Mabini and I'm now here at my latte church. Let's go. Okay, so I am done here at my latte church. Just an FYI, by the way, this is um, this church is under renovation. So the people are just outside doing the stations of the cross, which I just did. Okay, take a look. That's a church right there. fourth church which is Bacalaran church so that's also one of the oldest churches here in Manila and I don't know how to get there yet I will ask around but I will get there probably by jeep yes I, I, I think I think there's a jeepney that goes directly to Bacalaran so see you later so I'm now on uh, my fourth stop this is Bacalaran church take a look fewer people now. Talk to you later. So we went to Magallanes but it's closed now so I am here at San Ildefonso Parish. So this is in Makati as well. So take a look. It is pretty quiet. I'll see you later. This is church number five. I am now in this all too familiar place. This is Green Belt. And this is church number six. It's Green Belt Chapel or it's Santo Nino de Paz Chapel. I know that very well because I would come here or I would hear mass at Santo Nino de Paz or Green Belt Chapel every week before with my family or every Sunday. So this is church number six, second to the last church for my visita Egalesha. See you later. Okay, hi. So this is church number six. I am here at Greenbelt Chapel. Or one thing to note is that during the Holy Week or Lenten season, especially um, Thursday, Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, of course there are no classes, there's no work, and establishments are closed. So this is Greenbelt. Everything is just dark everywhere you go, except for these establishments. So these are bars. Just these establishments. There's their spicy fingers. And I think that stretches until Italianis. I'm not really sure. The sweet lot. There will be establishments that are always open especially during these times and one of these places is of course 
McDonald's. No, I'm not going to eat yet because there's still one more church. This is the last stop and this is Don Bosco, St. John Bosco Parish. Yeah, it's a parish. So this is my last church. This completes my seven churches and I am already done with my 14 stations of the cross. So this is my Visita Iglesia. It's also here. You can see the schedule of Holy Week and Easter 2014. So that sums it up and this caps off my Visita Iglesia. Thanks for watching.